It's national meets regional. It's Sidewalks Entertainment. The long running celebrity. Music. And art series. Join us for a new path to arts and entertainment. Don't come any closer. You shoot better than you drive, Eddie. You gonna answer that? Hello? Put the gun down. Who says? The guy behind the laser sight. What laser? The one on your furry little chest. Now tell the nice lady she owes me 10 bucks. He says you owe $10. Oh. Didn't I tell you this is where it'd end up? You were so confident. Why don't you make it 100? Because you don't have 100. He could have gone anywhere. Yet here we are. Our guests today are no strangers to film and television. Rebecca Romaine is best known for her role as Mystique in the X-Men film trilogy, while John Tenney starred opposite Kara Sedgwick for seven seasons in The Closer. Today they join us to talk about their TNT series, King and Maxwell. I'd like to welcome Rebecca and John to Sidewalks. Hey you two, it's Hi, great to have you with us today. Thanks for having Thanks, us. Thanks Cindy, We're thank happy to you. Be here. Wonderful. Well, Rebecca, I think we should start ladies first, don't you, John? <laughs> of Rebecca, course, I know of that you are originally from Northern California. I think you were born in Berkeley, went to UC uh, Santa Cruz to school. How did you sort of get into, I know you started your career in modeling and went into acting. How did all that kind of start? Uh, you know, I was a, a, a you know, struggling student at UC Santa Cruz and just wanted to make some money for the summer. And a friend of mine took me to an agency in San Francisco. Um, and there happened to be a scout there from Paris who asked me to come to Paris for the summer. And I is, is it left. any wonder? I mean, look at her. <laughs> is it any wonder? I, just happened to I ask could, you to come. Well, I, it seemed like an opportunity I could not turn down. And up until then, I was just a scruffy college girl. And then I, I moved to Paris. And uh, that was that. That's what I like about you. I, lived I like the fact that you're still just a scruffy, scruffy chick. Well, I'm not that scruffy anymore, John. In a good way. In a good way. <laughs> scruffy in like so, a great way. That, I, was, that was many moons ago. That was many moons ago. So, John, you've got your own credentials, of course. Being from the East Coast, you attended Vassar College. Yes. And also Juilliard. My goodness. Uh, was acting always something that you thought you would be, you know, focusing your career on, or, or was there ever a time you had other aspirations? Uh, well, I was, uh, I'm one of those actors who did the third grade play and said, yes, this is what I want to do, and for many, many years, people kept on telling me that I would uh, grow out of that, like, oh, yeah, I wanted to be an actor when I was in third grade, and when fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, and I just, I never grew out of that, so, uh, and people are letting me do what I want to do, so I feel very, very fortunate. Well, you both star in the TNT drama King and Maxwell. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your characters and uh, about this show? Well, well, um, the show is based on a series of David Baldacci books. Um, King and Maxwell are two disgraced Secret Service agents who are now private investigators. And uh, yeah, there's a little bit of pressure. There's a lot of. Uh, Creating these, making these characters uh, flesh and blood from these books. There's a big audience for these books. People yeah, have loved you, these you characters. Yeah, don't, you don't want to let down the people who have loved these books. You know, they've been waiting for these these characters to come to life for so long. So you don't want to let down those people. Um, Sean King uh, is. Uh, well, I, I would say that there are. Uh, he's more of the man of words, and she's more of the the woman of action, and they uh, they work very well together. However. They don't, um, they don't like to admit that they work well together. No, they don't like to admit that. They, but they do. Well, they isn't work that very funny? Well together. <laughs> yes, they struggle, you know, so as they struggle with a, solving a case. <laughs> I, I, I sense the camaraderie that the two of you have already. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just, from, just from talking with you on set. Well, you also round out the cast uh, with Chris Butler, Michael O'Keefe, and Ryan Hurst. How is it working with those guys, and what's it sort of like on set? 
Oh my gosh, we have such a great cast. We got, um, we got a great cast. We've really they everybody brings a, a different color to the to the to the show. It's um it's a really That's talented a group of people. Yeah, every, um, everybody has their little piece of the puzzle to to play and yeah, everyone is very very different, uh which is which is really nice. And uh we like to think of it as a happy set. You know, guest stars who come in always tell us that they really enjoyed spending time with all of us and uh you know, it's very important to create that environment when you're working these long hours, and uh, I think we're having a lot of fun. Yeah, for sure. Well, and long hours is definitely part of the part of the gig. I know, John, you actually have worked, you know, not just on the small screen, but you know, the large screen as well as the stage. You know, is there having worked in all of those genre? Or I must call it genre, but those mediums. Is there one that you find that you sort of enjoy doing more, or is it like trying to pick your favorite kid? You just can't do it. No, yeah, you can't really. Uh, the the medium is not. It, it's just really about telling a good story. You know, that's how I always look at it. Trying to tell a story honestly, and um, whether it's on television or in the movies or on on stage, and uh, and I get to tell the story with Rebecca, and that's just fantastic. That's the best thing about. <laughs> King and Maxwell for me, that uh, we get to tell these stories together. Now, Rebecca, you have primarily done, you know, large screen and small screen. Is the, have you done any stage work yet, or is that something you like to do? I did. I did the producers last summer at the Hollywood Bowl, where I played Ula in the producers, uh, which was. I wanted. To, I wish I had seen that. Oh my gosh, it I was really I'd fun. I really, um, you know, I got very inspired by the dancers. I, uh, I, I Ula's a showgirl, and so I had to do a lot of like wearing large headdresses and walking down long flights of stairs without looking down. And I really she, sort of followed the dancers around. I became very inspired by all the dancers I was working with. She sings and dances as well. So I, I decided Amazing. then and there, but I, I really like, I decided I, I was like, you know what? I, I want to be dancerly. That's how I want to be in life now. I decided <laughs> after doing the producers that I just like, you're, in my person, I want to be more dancerly. You're very graceful. Thank you. Very, Thank very you. graceful. I, I've been working on it ever since I did the producers <laughs> last summer. She actually, you know, as the woman of action in King and Maxwell, she's always, uh, I feel a little guilty. She's always doing all these stunts and running and diving over do, things. I had to do a lot of weapons training and martial arts training and rowing training for this show because my character is a former Olympic rower. But I have to do a lot of fight sequences and I'm still wrapping my head around fight choreography because it's kind of like learning a long dance number. It's just choreography is something that I'm still training my brain to do, but it's much like dancing. It's just learning a, a sequence of movement and it's... I feel a little guilty because I get to throw like one punch for every ten of hers, so it's very... <laughs> It's, uh, yes, you do all the you got it easy, John. He still has my back. He still I, oh, I have your back completely. I just have it like as I'm sitting down. So it's good. <laughs> well, it was such a pleasure to have you both with us today. Uh, I appreciate it. I wish you all the best, and thank you so much for being with us today on Sidewalks. Thank, thank you. you, Cindy. Thanks, Cindy. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.